she looks like she's just sleeping and that she's going to wake up in the next minute. And you just want to ask her a question. I mean, it's just a feeling that she's really going to come back and answer your question. It's been five years since Cortal's last saw the doncella. And I can see already that the doncella has grown a little bit more saggy than she used to be. She is aging a little less gracefully than the other mummies, but it's probably because she's also an older patient. A study done on hair cuttings buried with the girl revealed that her hair was elaborately braided just before she died, perhaps as part of the sacrificial ceremony. Let me see if there's any hair that's... It's time to take a sample of the Doncea's 500-year-old hair. Hey, look, this, this is a, a white hair. Look, 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 she had white hair. It's, 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 that's, that's the Doncea's hair. This is very unusual for a 15-year-old to, to have gray or white hair. It's, it's muy bizarre. It can be due to genetics. I mean, some young people do have white hair at a very early age, but it can also be due to stress, and that would be quite interesting. Uno. Cortals is not the only scientist who has taken the Doncella's hair. In 2003, a team of scientists from the University of Bradford in England sampled hair from all three children. Right, so here's the difficulty is try to get a hair with a follicle, which is really not easy. It was analyzed for changes in chemical signatures of elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. A detailed timeline surfaced about what these children ate and how they lived. From her hair, the team discovered a countdown to sacrifice that began months before her death. And the first event was one year before the death of the maiden. A shift from a diet of vegetables and potatoes was changed to the food of the elite. Maize and animal protein. In only a moment, her life changed forever. The scientists believe that the maiden was being fortified for her destiny on top of the volcano. <laughs>